Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your computer is coming across an error message that it cannot find the recovery environment. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial today, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best match trickle back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. After you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now we're going to go ahead and enable it if it's available. If not, we're going to go ahead and try something else. But first thing you want to do is just go and type in REA G E N T C space forward slash enable exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, R-E-A-G-E-N-T-C space and then a forward slash enable. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should say operation successful. And then if you go ahead and just type in the same thing we typed in before. So, so R-E-A-G-E-N-T-C space forward slash and now info. So type in info instead of enable. You hit enter. You'll see the information regarding the recovery environment. Now, if you do not see any information there, you will you will actually have to go and create a recovery drive. So if you close out of here, and you open up the store menu, type in recovery. Underneath settings, select create a recovery drive. Select yes. And now at this point, you want to go ahead and create a recovery drive. So just select next here. And then follow along with the on-screen prompts about creating a recovery drive, so whether it be an external USB flash drive or something along those lines, and then you will have been able to create a recovery drive through there. So again, it's a pretty straightforward process of how to do this. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.